So one of the other issues that we come across um, in particular industries can be um, in an engineering situation. And again, engineering can involve lots of many different products coming into a larger supplier. So here in the, in the Midlands where I work, um, Jaguar Land Rover is a really big supplier, but their supply chain goes right back to smaller SMEs and some subcontractors. So again, one of the problems with the sale is it becomes a very technical sale. And in order to get your contract, you need not only to understand what your customer wants, but you also need to understand um, the materials they want it made by, the timescales they need it delivered, um, perhaps the weight or the size, or there's all sorts of technical issues going on in that sale. And they will probably want first to see a prototype from you, technical drawing, sorry, first technical drawing first, then a prototype, and then the, there might be some sort of modeling before you get to your final product. And again, if the buyer of this larger company is sat higher than you psychologically and you're begging, it's very easy to say, of course we can develop a prototype, of course you can test it for as long as you like. Um, you know, the technical drawings are free, of course we can do that for you. That's easy to do, but then you might have a problem with cash flow because you're investing, a bit like the creative agency, you're investing your time in drawings, prototyping, developing, there'll be IP issues to sort out, who owns the intellectual property to those parts, before you actually get into a regular sale and some regular income from this company. So sometimes it is about knowing and understanding what sort of a level of company you can deal with. You know, as, as we get bigger, we can deal with larger companies. They might not like dealing with you if you're too small. It might be difficult if you're a startup to get those really good contracts to start, but you've got to uh, start thinking about what you're doing with your marketing, what the ambition for your business is, but it might have to be a step process up to where you want to be. It might not be possible just to go from a small startup to where you want to be in one step. It might take several years to do that. So again, understanding your end user, really understanding why they're talking to you, what it is they need from you, and to try and get some sort of step payment agreed into the process is really going to help your cash flow, which after all is what kills lots of small businesses when they start up.